So I want to show you something really easy that will make your presentations look a lot better. And that's the ability to remove the background from any photo. So you'll notice that this is a presentation that I'm currently working on. It's called How to Teach with Zoom. And I went online and I was able to find the Zoom logo as well as this photo of a MacBook. But when I saved the photos, I noticed that the photos came with this white box around them. And sometimes that might be okay, but in the situation of this presentation, it kind of restricts some of the things that I could do in terms of creating a nice visual for my opening slide. So fortunately in Keynote, there's a really simple feature called Instant Alpha that will allow you to remove any color. In this case, I'm going to want to remove the white color that surrounds this image so I have a much cleaner intro slide. So it's super easy to use. You just take the image that you want, okay? And then you'll want to, when you click on the image, you want to move over here to the Inspector tab, and you want to click on the option that says Image, okay? And then you're going to choose this option, Instant Alpha. Okay, you're going to click Instant Alpha, and then with this finder or this dropper right here, you're just going to click on the color that you want. In this case, it's that white, and you'll notice that it doesn't get everything, so I have to kind of adjust my mouse just a little bit. I'm just kind of dragging with my finger on the trackpad to, to take a little more out. Okay, there I go, I'm going to click Done. Okay, so you'll notice that I have this logo. For the most part, it's just about taken out. It's not perfect. I could go back and do it again, but one of the things you'll notice is that the white and the O is still there. So all I'm going to do is go back to Instant Alpha. I'm just going to try that again. There we go. Okay, now that's removed. You'll also see like around the edge, there's just a really thin, thin, a little bit of white. I could try doing that again. Kind of like that. If, if that's something that's really going to bother you, you could go back to Instant Alpha and kind of try to drag your finger and remove as much of that as possible. But now that that white is done, I can kind of make my Zoom logo bigger. I can move my text down so it's right on top. Kind of like this. Lots of different options that I have once I remove that white box. And I'm, I'm going to do, to do the same thing to this MacBook as well because you'll notice that if I do that, it doesn't quite look right because there's that white border around the MacBook. So again, to do this, click on the image, move over to the menu, the submenu that says image, click Instant Alpha. You can see right there, click color to make it transparent. I'm just going to click my finger on this one and sort of just drag my finger down so it gets closer to the edge. Click done. And there we go. So now that I have this MacBook, I could just sort of play around with my images. It gives me a lot more flexibility in how I want to design my cover slide. It's going to end up looking a lot better. It's something that's really quick, very easy, and if you use Keynote, it's definitely a feature that you're going to want to try.